Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. Today we have three oracle card decks ahead of us, deck one, deck two, and deck three. Please take a moment to choose a deck that resonates with you for a message for your week ahead. You may pause the video if you wish to. So for those of you who've chosen the first deck, uh, which is this uh, deck here, we're asking the question, what is it that we need to know in our given situation for the week ahead? What is it that we need to know? And there we have our card. And it reads, Mayu, it's the number 36. And the caption is, Soma from the Galactic Heart. You're about to give birth to something that has been gestating for a while now. You have an idea of where it is that you want to go, what it is that you'd like to achieve, and you have your sole purpose, which is behind you, which is inspiring you, which is ultimately dynamic and beautiful and radiant. And this is actually inspiring you and been pushing you along. So without you knowing about it, on an unconscious level, you have been creating something of which you are about to birth at this moment. You may have been through a range of experiences which has led you to think that you're not going to reach your goal. Or you may be on the brink of reaching your goal and be wondering, when is this going to happen? Or you may be in a situation where you're unsure of how to even go about reaching your goal and it's not clear to you and it's your future or the path ahead seems foggy. You don't really know where you're coming from, nor do you know where you're going to. But with all of this, you still are growing something inside of you of which you're about to present to the world, a new reality which is going to come into the world right now. And I see this in you. I see that there's been something growing in you and that you are ready to birth this into the world. You simply need to trust that that which you are growing inside of you here is actually going to be birthed into the world in all its divinity. For those of you who are actually pregnant and you're about to give birth, literally, you need to trust that all is okay and that you are being guided through this process. At this point, it's almost as if you just need to sit back Breathe and simply allow what is to be, to be. As it seems like the work has been done already, even if you've not been conscious of it once again. And what you put out there will be beautiful, it will be right. So that's it for those of you who've chosen the first option. For those of you who have chosen the, the, this deck, which is the Madame Mandora fortune-telling cards, we're asking the question today, what is it that you need to know within your situation? What is it that you need to know at this moment? And we have here the green man. The forces of nature favor you. When the green man appears in your reading, it's there to tell you that the highest forces of nature support you in your endeavors, that you're being led and supported all around you. You may find in the week ahead or in the weeks ahead after you've watched this um, that things fall into place for you with ease. You know, somebody lets you through in the traffic. Somebody lets you to the front of the queue. Uh, things fall into place and uh, things become lighter for you as you go ahead. And the green man is here to show you that you are what you've chosen. The path that you've decided upon is the right path. There's nothing to change. There's nothing to alter. Just go ahead with what you've decided. Trust yourself. And you have the forces of the universe. You have the, the, the forces of nature that support you in this endeavor. And you are blessed in all of this. So just go ahead and do what it is that you are guided to do within the circumstances that you are right now. And if you're asking a particular question for which the answer is yes or no,
your answer is yes. Yes, go ahead, do it. You're blessed, you're guided, and that is your message for you, for those of you who've chosen this card. For those of you who've chosen the last deck, um, this this deck doesn't have actually a, a front part that's covered. That is the actual card, as you see here. And so I'm just going to go ahead and shuffle and choose the uh, card that's relevant to us for this week. And the question we're asking is, what is it that we need to hear for this week? What is it that we need to hear for the week ahead? And there we have our card. And it is Saraswati. So the goddess Saraswati is the Hindu goddess of wisdom, the arts, the intellect, music. And when she comes in, she comes in to signal that the path that you need to take is that of learning something new. The path that you need to take towards wisdom is of discovering something that feeds your soul, something like music, or learning a new skill, learning a new language, learning some form of divination perhaps, or perhaps uh, using a form of mantra meditation. All of these things apply to the goddess Saraswati. And so the advice that she's here to give you is that you're going to find your peace, you're going to discover a new path, or a new part of yourself when you decide to endure a new form of learning, when you decide to take uh, the path of learning something new. And she's, she's, she's there to say also that it's not necessarily easy to just begin something new, to just learn something, but rather that one needs to endure it, one needs to have the stamina to go through it, one needs to be able to see it to the finish. And she's there to say to you, that do it gracefully, do it gracefully and under her guidance and she will be uh, supporting you through this process. Call upon her if you need to, um, to support you through this process and this is where you find your wisdom, this is where you, you gain what you need to, this is where you fill the gap in your life that you've been feeling, this hole that you need to fill, this is what's been missing and this is where you can find it. So embark upon a new path of learning and choose to do something that you've always thought that you should do but you put on the back burner. Go ahead, make this choice, work diligently at it, work at it daily and see the efforts and the benefits that arise from it. And the goddess Saraswati is watching you as you do this and supporting you through this. So that's it for those of you who have chosen the deck number three. I thank you for popping by this channel and I'm wishing you much love and blessings abound from Kismet Rising.